Well, we're at the end of the war here. Got a new energy, so I'm gonna spend it here in a sec. Uh, we'll see what comes up, but a lot of teams left. Um, <clears throat> overall, we got, you know, we got them whittled down pretty far, so they're kind of screwed. Um, they kind of burned out on our armory, but we had already killed all four globals before they even got there. So they were still stuck in security by the time we, we killed their, uh, their last global, which was barracks. Uh, whenever that happens, you tend to get a pretty good lead. Um, <clears throat> and that's just about picking smart matchups, making sure you can win in whatever fights you take, and uh, being smart about it. <clears throat> so what I was going to look at here was doing uh, Brotherhood against this Merc team. Because I have Brotherhood, um, I still have Defenders, which are really just a cleanup crew now. I have Fantastic Four, I have Kree. Um, I can still buy one attack, but I don't really need to at this point, so I kind of want to save the Blitz credits. Um, but I'm thinking my Brotherhood, I uh, could definitely take that uh, Merc team. Oh, this is a little bit bigger Merc team. Um, hmm, I might want to take this instead. 322. Actually, it's a pretty small task. So if Taskmaster is small, Mercs really aren't that much of a threat. Uh, this one's a much bigger Taskmaster at uh, 61k. So, I don't know, just like we're not in a rush here. The enemy's not pushing. Um, they got about half of our armory down and then quit, and now they're just attacking whatever uh, for points, I assume. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and knock off this uh, this Mercs team here with uh, Brotherhood 2.0. Should have no problem, it's a small punch down for me. Uh, I've noticed that the higher your teams get and the more power that the Mercs get, um, the more important it is to do slight punch downs just to give you a little bit of an advantage and make sure Blob survives long enough to uh, get to that Juggernaut taunt. But uh, for the most part, I mean, I think if you just use the Magneto special on Task Manager to start, then it's just, I mean, you win. Like, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, it just, it makes such a difference when he has no offense up. But let's go ahead and try to remove it anyway, just normally, and there we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different things we can do here, but we really just, if we kill him, we win. That's, that's really the key here. Um, I don't know, I've seen other people make videos on Merc fights and stuff, and I don't think that's really declared well enough. If he dies, this team falls apart. There's just, there's not much they can do. Um, you go for him, then you go Merc LT, and then you clean up the rest. That's, that's the whole, whole fight in a nutshell. Uh, look at that, his blinds didn't land, he had slow, he didn't get offense up. Uh, Pyro goes right after um, the taunt if he only gets hit once. If he gets hit multiple times, then sometimes he doesn't. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit here, right in the middle of these guys, do some damage. Almost got tasked down. Uh, we're about to do our Juggernaut taunt. Thankfully he has um, heal block up, so we'll be okay. We're going to go ahead and extend all those debuffs. And now, yeah, we're just we're going to kill Merc LT here on the next attack. This should be Magneto's basic. Right? Oh no, he healed. Oh, I thought Magneto was going to get the attack first. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll just bring them all around Bullseye, so that should move Korra out to the back here. It'll move uh, Rank Guard over one and bring uh, LT in, uh, so that limits the LT heal slightly. But that's okay. We got we got heal blocks from Pyro. Pyro is just kicking ass here. Um, making it easy on us. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Call in all those buffs. Go ahead and do the attack. And now Juggernaut will finish off those two. And then it's really easy cleanup from here. So that's, yeah, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, <laughs> how, how to win this fight. And this is a bit of a punch down. I realize that. But still, I mean, I think this is... From end to end, this is the right opening move, uh, is disrupt on Task Manager and just focus him down as fast as you can. The bigger he is, though, the less likely you're going to be able to do that. Um, if he was like 100k tier 14, I might consider going for Merc LT first, just to prevent heals and the offense up. Uh, it just kind of depends. Merc LT has a much lower base health than him. So real quick, let's just look here. So this is 61k tier 13, and he's got 120k health. Uh, whereas the Merc LT at 58k only has 93. And I know that my 5 red, 7 gold, tier 14 uh, Merc LT 
actually has about 133k health. So that's still pretty low health, or at least base health for a character. So they could be easily stomped uh, if they get focus fired by a pretty good team. But Mercs can be tricky, so that's why I like taking them out when I can. Uh, I did a attack with X-Force earlier on one on a pretty good punch up, so I'm gonna make a, a video on that and show it. Um, but this is this was an easy fight. That was no no problem at all. And I just wanted to knock those guys out, get them out of the way. Um, just because you never know. Some people do really dumb attacks when it comes to Mercs, so you gotta you gotta knock off the biggest ones you can and, and make it easy for others. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that worked out pretty well. So anyway, that's the fight in a nutshell. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. My my brotherhood team, I could show them real quick because um, I do have some significant tier fours on them and some good red stars. Uh, let me let me just pull that up real quick here. So my brotherhood, just to show what I have. Um, so Magneto is five reds. I think everybody has that from the event. Seven gold, tier thirteen. No other. Um, gear on him and i have his, his special should be tier four that's no brainer it removes all buffs um and then his base or his passive uh provides more uh what's it focus which it was necessary before toad came around i'm not sure it still is because toad also provides focus on his passive so i mean his focus has to be insane right so now he's up to 64 54 with that passive and then toad offers like another 30 percent or something silly so um, that's a lot. We don't use Sabretooth on this team. He's on Marauders. The only thing I have done on Juggernaut is his basic. And the reason why is because he always gains ability energy. So you never have to worry about that. Um, sometimes you have to, like, sometimes I'll count on that, right? It's just making sure I get that energy. Uh, Pyro, I've never really put a whole lot of resources into him. He's, he's just very squishy. His whole purpose to me is just remove buffs with his special to whoever's there. Um, and then... Uh, no, no tier fours on him. I know there are some good ones. I just don't care. Uh, Mystique is on Marauder, so she doesn't count. Blob, no tier fours, only tier 12, four red, four gold. Uh, I'm hoping he comes to a store soon. Uh, I assume with Toad hitting Blitz store this past week, Blob is probably around the corner. I, I really hope so, because I'd love to get more, more stars on him. And the last one, Toad, uh, as I mentioned, his, uh, passive gets 50% focus in war and to Brotherhood allies. So, I mean, Magneto's focus has to be like 10,000, right? <laughs> or something silly now when he's got Toad on his team in war. But uh, yeah, so Toad, I've got four reds on him, six gold. I uh, pulled him in a Mega Orb the other night and that was pretty nice. Uh, but he's he's really good. Like he's, he's just, he strips buffs, he extends debuffs, all that good stuff. Um, you know, it, he's, he's not a bad character at all to build. Him and Blob together are a great duo with the rest of the Brotherhood, and they work really well um, against uh, Coulson teams as well as Mercs and uh, just Captain Marvel, Brawler teams, Avengers. Like, they can take out a lot of stuff. Um, Brotherhood is really legit. So, this isn't a crazy team though. 48k, 48k, 57k, 68k, and then 85. So, um,. You know, I don't think it's an ungodly or unreasonable amount of power on those guys, and I think anybody could could build this team pretty easily. So these guys are still just level 65. I need to upgrade Blob so that he can take some more hits, but uh, other than that, you know, they're doing pretty good. I'm thinking about maybe taking t uh, Juggernaut to tier 14 just because I really, really, really like him, and him and Magneto together would be a lot of fun to have at tier 14 because they, they kick ass. So we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to highlight that another Brotherhood 2 versus Mercs video. I've got a whole bunch in my backlog of these, like just Brotherhood killing Mercs. And every time Task Manager disrupt him on the, off the bat and man, it makes the fight go so much easier because he is less likely to land his blinds. He's less, he does a lot less damage and he also does less damage on his assists for his buddies, uh, his other uh, Merc buddies. So keep that in mind. But anyway. So uh, if you have questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to catch up with you. Thanks.